Hello dear learners today we will study types and forms of tourism the objectives of today lesson is that after learning this topic you should be able to appreciate the tourist industry's massive development understand travel motivators to get a brief knowledge on different types of tourism now before starting the lesson let us understand that what is tourism you know the term tour comes from the english word tourian the latin word tourner and the greek word tournos which means circular trip in which the starting and the ending point is same we also try to question and understand that why do people travel now this answer varies accordingly from individual to individual depending upon their psychological sociological and their cultural backgrounds now you know whenever we travel there are some factors which triggers the mind of tourist that for what regions the tourist want to travel now these factors are termed as the travel motivators ye travel motivators jo hote hain wo ek tourist ko unka mind trigger karte hain through any of the activities koi bhi factor ho sakta hai unka income level ho sakta hai unka holidays ho sakta hai unka long weekend ho sakta hai to ye jo factors hote hain ye motivate karte hain tourist ko ki wo jaye aur ek trip le the travel motivators are basically those factors that create a desire in people to travel now these motivators are the internal psychological influences affecting individual choices same factors ko define kiya hai mackintosh and goldner ne they have given the four categories of motivators these four categories are as follows first one is physical motivators which consist the physical rest maybe the tourist want to relax maybe he want to participate or spectate the sports activities and due to some health and wellness purposes also second one is cultural motivators now under this the desire to know and learn about other culture is the main factor which triggers the tourist to know about the lifestyle of other culture to know about the folk art to learn music to listen to music to dance etc now the third one is interpersonal motivators the desire to meet new people or visiting their friends or relatives seek seeking any new experiences going through adventures having a thrilling experiences are all the factors that are come coming under interpersonal motivators the fourth one is status and prestige motivators now under this it is basically identified as one's personal status and symbol this includes travel for business education or pursuing any certain of hobbies of the respected individual as the same mackintosh and goldner has defined the different motivators in the same manner robinson further classified the travel motivators into seven groups these are health relaxation and refreshment of body and mind pleasure curiosity and culture interpersonal reasons spiritual professional and business also when we talk about tourism then tourism was defined as a visit to a nation other than one's own or where one typically dwells and works during the rome conference on tourism in 1963 domestic tourism which has grown in an importance as a source of revenue and jobs for the hotel sector and for the many countries was not included in this definition now tourist according to the unwto are those who travel to and remain in a location outside their habitual surroundings for not more than one year for pleasure business or other purposes not associated to the practice of any remunerated activity from within the place visited on the basis of the aim of the visit and alternative forms of tourism tourism has various categories and numerous forms the numerous forms and types of tourism may be classified under the following headings 
on the basic of origin and destiny. Now, tourism is not restricted to a country's borders. Tourists have the option of visiting foreign nation or staying inside their own country's boundaries. Within a national boundary, the tourist flow patterns include the following categories of tourism. We will define here the inbound tourism. Now, this is defined as the act of someone traveling to a country other than that of where they live for the purpose of tourism. Now, for India, what will be an inbound tourism? The person coming from Spain to India is the inbound tourism for Indians. When we talk about outbound tourism, now outbound tourism is the act of traveling out of your home country for the purposes of tourism. Now, for as an example, for India, the outbound tourism will be that the Indian tourist is going to uh, Spain for the tourism purposes. So that will be the outbound tourism for India. Now the terms outbound tourism and inbound tourism are often used interchangeably because this is because a tourist who is traveling internationally is both an outbound tourist because they travel out of their home country and an inbound tourist because they travel into another country as for example jaise abhi humne example suna tha ki india ke liye kaun inbound tourist hoga spain ka jo spain se india aa raha hai to spain ke liye wo outbound tourism hoga ki wo spain se india aa raha hai outbound tourism india ke liye hoga jo india se spain ja raha hai aur wo spain ke liye ek inbound tourist hoga सो so, ऐसे ही ये दोनों टर्म्स इंटरचेंजेबली रिलेट करते हैं एक दूसरे को द ओनली एक्सेप्शन टू दिस वुड बी इफ अ पर्सन वॉज ट्रेवलिंग ऑन अ मल्टी सेंटर ट्रिप नो फॉर एग्जाम्पल अ बैक पैकर दिस इज बिकॉज दे आर नॉट नेसेसरली ट्रेवलिंग फ्रॉम देअर होम कंट्री वेन वी डिफाइन डोमेस्टिक टूरिज्म इट इज वेन द टूरिस्ट हु अंडरटेक्स ट्रेवल एक्टिविटीज इन देर ओन कंट्री ऑफ रेजिडेंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल पीपल पीपल विजिटिंग फ्रॉम डेली ट्रेवलिंग टू उत्तराखंड फ्रॉम डेली और द पीपल फ्रॉम नॉर्थ इज ट्रेवलिंग टू साउथ इंडिया और द पीपल फ्रॉम वेस्ट इंडिया इज ट्रेवलिंग टू ईस्ट इंडिया दिस इज कंसिडर कंसिडर्ड एज डोमेस्टिक टूरिज्म नॉट लेजर और हॉलीडे टूरिज्म there are many reasons that why people prefer leisure tourism some of the reasons are long and stressful working hours that have created a lots of pressure in people today working couples who are trying to find time for each other and the family good pay packages income and good travel benefits may trigger people to travel and seek relaxation trips also awareness that has been created by print and electronic media that plays a major role in one's life today about various travel destinations also the brochures of travel agents and hotels which focus on the pleasure aspect of holidays and weekend packages are triggering the tourists to undertake leisure tourism despite from the stress of day to day life the tourist wants to devote their holidays to rest and relaxation and refresh themselves when tired and these type of the tourist are included in this category of leisure holiday or recreational tourism cultural tourism culture is one of the most significant factors which attracts tourists to a destination This type of tourism includes widening one's knowledge about other places and people, their ways of life, their journeys to places of art and heritage treasures, religious shrines and other civilization interest in religion, philosophy, history, etc. Fairs and festivals are one of the main reasons of travel as these are based on the culture of a country. Cultural tourism is one of the most significant reasons of travel in India because not only does culture differ from state to state but also from region to region. Adventure tourism. Adventure tourism is a package of recreation, enjoyment, education and the thrills of participating in an adventure. It is more challenging because it takes the tourist into regions which are less frequently visited and may not have easy access. Young people are attracted to this form of travel because of the excitement and risk involved. 
Adventure tourism has many forms which can be broadly categorized as adventure on land. In this, the adventure would be safari through the jungle, doing wildlife excursions, wall climbing, trekking, hiking, camping, mountain biking, rock climbing, rappling, skiing, bushcrafting, etc. When talking about water tourism, under this, various activities on water surfaces takes place like scuba diving, snorkeling, deep sea diving, parasailing, water skiing, windsurfing, white water rafting and canoeing. Under aerial adventure, different activities like ballooning, paragliding, hang gliding and bungee jumping takes place. Now when we talk about sports tourism, the concept of sports tourism has become more important and significant in the current scenario. People have been traveling to participate or watch sporting events for centuries and centuries. The tourists under this may be the participants or the spectators who have traveled to enjoy the sport. Visiting friends and relatives to tourism. This includes visiting one's relatives and friends for the interpersonal reasons. Many people take time out of their busy schedules to visit their friends and relatives at the time that might be uh, school vacations or during their major festivals or the long weekends and to attend weddings and other rituals. However, these tourists are benefit to the sectors like uh, transport attraction, entertainment and shopping. Religious tourism. Religious tourism is also known as pilgrimage tourism. Religious tourism is a journey undertaken for the, state, for the sake of worship and to pay respect to a site of special religious significance. For example, the Hindus visiting all the Char Dhams of India or Uttarakhand, for Muslims visiting Mecca or the Hajj Yatra, for the Christians visiting to the Jerusalem and Bethlehem is considered auspicious. For Buddhists, the whole Buddha circuit like the Japan, China, Sarnath, Rajgir, Bodh Gaya, for six golden temples, for Jain Talwara temples at Mount Abu are all the religious shrines of the tourist. Now business tourism. Now he, she visits a particular destination for various reasons regarding the work such as business, meetings, conference, convention, trade fairs. These trips are shorter in duration. The mice tourism. Mice in itself me means meetings, incentives, conventions and exhibition. Now business tourism involves meetings, conference and conventions where information is exchanged. You know, and the events are organized to launch new products. Incentive travels offered to motivate or reward their staff. Exhibitions are organized to promote corporation, etc. Mice tourism, it is a form of or it is a subset of business tourism, we can say. Health tourism. People have been traveling for centuries to improve and rebuild their health and stamina. Visiting spas, which is mainly for the health reasons, also sanatoriums, was the result of an awareness of the various benefits of good health, growing increase in the travel to spas and health clinics for curative baths and medical treatments, also, the hotels and resorts offer health services because in spite of busy schedules, people take time out to relax and de-stress. Medical Tourism Tourists visiting a destination because of the medical treatments available at the destination like for the plastic surgeries, for the hair transplantation or for any other surgeries. Alternative Forms of Tourism Alternative tourists are different from the regular tourists. Now, these tourists normally avoid the services that are used by regular tourists. They prefer to use or share the services of the local people. While mass tourism can have a negative impact on a destination, alternative tourism promotes a balanced growth from more inclined or more in line with local environmental and socio-cultural concerns. Special interest tourism. The tourism industry has felt the need to expand the destination experience beyond pleasure, tourism and giving the tourist a completely unique experience in an area which is of special interest to the tourist. Special interest tourism can be defined as people traveling to a particular destination with the purpose of fulfilling a particular interest 
which can be pursued only at the destination ecotourism ecotourism is usually used to describe tourism activities which are conducted in harmony with nature it is a purposeful travel to natural areas to understand the cultural and natural history of the environment taking care not to alter the integrity of the ecosystem while also producing economic opportunities that makes the conservation of natural resources financially beneficial to the local citizens rural tourism rural tourism as a type of tourism activity in which the visitors experience is related to a wide range of products generally linked to nature based activities agriculture rural lifestyle culture culture angling and sightseeing ethnic tourism ethnic tourism involves travel for the purpose of observing the cultural expressions of lifestyles and customs of the indigenous and exotic people in this the tourist have direct contact with the local people the tourist visits the local homes observes and participates in their traditional rituals ceremonies dances festivals fairs etc wildlife tourism wildlife tourism is a term used to refer to both the floral and faunal components of a natural environment many young enthusiasts and nature lovers as well as adventure seekers are exploring this new area of tourism thank you